tell you something because recently these papers have been published, maybe you already read it. <clears throat> A certain group of scientists and doctors in United States, from Indiana University, some from Harvard University, Rutgers and Florida, they studied people who've been practicing in engineering for ninety days, that is, What is that? Hmm? Monkeys. Oh, monkeys. <laughs> See, the teaching is getting popular <laughs> They are, they also believe they could be evolved like you. Hey, how many of you came that way? <laughs> no, no, it's good, it's good for me that we transformed uh, monkeys into human beings is a very good, uh, you know. Because uh, I want to tell you that the genetic tendencies are changing simply with the inner engineering practices. So they recorded all these things, the biomarkers and everything, I'll put it as briefly as possible, it's an elaborate paper running into hundreds of pages. But to put it very simply, one thing that determines the nature of your experience and your mental and emotional condition is what is called as BDNF, that is <clears throat> brain-derived neurotropic uh, factors. So the BDNF is higher in a positive way threefold, three hundred percent in ninety days. I can imagine how you guys were before you started. <laughs> threefold increase, that means keeping your emotions in balance, keeping in a good state of experience and sharpness of mind and pleasantness of experience shouldn't even be a problem, three hundred percent increase. There is another dimension. You know what is uh, a cannabinoid? So a cannabinoid means like uh, today what is popularly in India it is known as ganja or uh, everywhere else it's known as marijuana. In different places it's known by different names. But essentially these are plant extracts which have a certain influence on the mood and experience of the person. But there are millions of cannab uh, cannab uh, cannabis receptors, both in your brain and across the body. Because you are supposed to produce it, you're not supposed to smoke it. So now, with the inner engineering practices, it's clearly, the biomarkers clearly establish that your endocannabinoid production is significantly higher. That means you are stoned by yourself. You don't need any outside help. But the impact of the endocannabinoids compared to the cannabinoids that come from outside are very, very different. It makes you intoxicated and super alert at the same time. Because along with it, certain other secretions happen. And the 230 genes which are fundamentally responsible for your immune system are also highly uh, enhanced with 90 days of practice. See, not a single case. <laughs> Till now. I'm receiving uh, Every day so many people about their friends dying, about their relatives dying, their parents dying, many, many sob stories about because they are not able to go even attend to their parents' uh, funerals or cremations or burials or whatever because they are in lockdown. So lot of stories like that, but till now, I have not heard, at least it's not come to me, because generally it comes, not a single meditator who's done in engineering programs and practicing has... No, they're not dying.
at least let's hope they will continue to not die for some more time. Uh, but at least till now, there's not been a single information to me that someone who belongs to our, you know, regular practitioners have died anywhere, they have not. That may not be the only reason, there may be many other reasons, but definitely your immune system is higher, now it's no more. We always know this, but unfortunately, you know, it has to come from America. So, from the laboratories in America, from the top universities in America, it's coming that clearly they're saying 230 genes which activate your immune system, they're all elevated because of the practice. So, there is enough evidence now. I am a living proof, but you know, Wrong color. <laughs> so now our idea of science has become like this. Science cannot come from life, it can only come from a lab. Very unfortunate way of taking scientific exploration that everything has to come from the lab, otherwise it's not true. Well, whatever, they have the reasons for that, it's okay, I'm not going to question it because anyway they're saying wonderful things about inner engineering, why should I complain? <laughs>